What's going on? Want to show you guys a couple caulk guns I have. This one right here is a dripless Ergotech. If you're looking for the model on it, it's uh, probably impossible to see. No, there you go. You can see it there. I've been having this one about six years. I had a yellow and black one for about a year longer, but the spring in here snapped. Um, occasionally, this one will get a little rusty. So I had a little WD-40 or something. And it's been going for about six years now. Um, right here, I have a HDX, which is like a Home Depot special. Stuff rolling away. And then this one here, you find this by anybody's house. You know, they go to Walmart and spend five bucks, ten bucks, and buy the cheapest caulk gun they can find because they just need to caulk a window or something. And they think all caulk guns are the same. So they buy this and don't realize what they're missing out on. So just for demonstration, this thing is insanely hard to squeeze. And once it starts going and you let go, it is just going to keep on pumping out because the spring's pushing it forward and the force it took to get that to come out is going to just keep on pushing. So if you're trying to caulk something, you're going to get about half the tube on what you're trying to get it on the other half on the ground. So that's why they're $5. Can't even get the damn tube out. <laughs> okay. I guess this one's claiming this tube. All right. So then this one here. It's a little better. This one's like 10, 15 bucks, maybe 20, but I think it's like 10 or 15. Same concept when you start squeezing. For the most part, it pours out. So you continue to run. And then you've got to turn this part here so it'll release. And then when you're ready, turn it back to squeeze. But if you leave it upside down and you're squeezing, Nothing's gonna come out. So that's pretty aggravating as well. So it'll stop running, but you've gotta turn the back of it and remember to turn it back when you're ready to use it again. And then this one here, I've used these for so long because you can squeeze some out and stop. Oh, might help if I got the lever down. And when you stop, it's gonna stop because it has this no drip setting. And if you turn it forward, it'll keep the spring engaged, which will be easier to pump it out because the plunger is gonna keep pushing forward. Whereas when you have it in the dripless setting, I believe it lets that plunger off some. That way it's not continuing to drip. So whenever you're pushing, it's gonna push out fine. But whenever you stop, the plunger is going to back up just a little bit and make it stop dripping, which will save you plenty of cleanup time whenever you don't have half a tube on the ground. And when you're trying to make something pretty, it's not getting everywhere. So, anywho, this is my favorite caulk gun. Like I said, I used to get them at Home Depot. Now I can't find them at Home Depot. I've seen them on Home Depot online. I was getting ready to order another one because this one's getting kind of beat up. Anyway, so when something like this rusts up, you just go ahead and oil it up and be good. And I'm going to teach you the secret on what you got to do to get one of these to work good. So, first I got to get this tube out. Move that everywhere. So, Whenever one like this isn't acting right, which is always, um, 
what you need is 60 volt grinder and you come on over to it You gotta shorten it up a little bit. That way, no one else will get their hands on it and waste their time. Oh, well, the spring just flew out of it. So I'm sure nobody's gonna be using it now. But this would have been the one you borrowed your cousin or something. That way, when they don't return it, it's all right. But now I don't think there's anything to return. <laughs> and then uh, this one here. Well, uh, it's okay, but we'll cut it in half, too. Let me, let me pull this out so it doesn't fly out at me. So, once you do that, then your cousin's not going to borrow it from you anymore and make a mess at his house. But then, make sure your neighbor doesn't dig it out your trash can. Oh, that's nice. Stuck it right in the silicone. Both these bad boys. I'll put them on some of my roof that blew up in the storm. Get you some magic juice. And now, they'll never make a mess again. <laughs> Go buy your dripless car gun and quit wasting your time.